another week ago, my sweet peas were quite sweet and they were blooming and they were happy. And it was June in Southern California and I had sweet peas, which is a little unusual, I have to say. But, you know, global climate change that makes it possible. In any case, we've had a bit of a heat wave a mere seven days after uh, getting a, over a tenth of an inch of rain here last weekend. And it is like, pretty much looks like my sweet peas have been burned with a torch. Somebody has just come out here with a torch. I mean, that's it for these guys. Now, of course, I'll probably... Uh, um, collect some of these seed pods here, like this guy right here uh, is a seed pod. I let them dry, and I have to say uh, that I practice quite a bit of, you know, just uh, letting things volunteer and naturalize. And so I did not actually plant any of these sweet peas. These are volunteers from sweet peas I planted years ago. And if I just let these vines sit here for a while, those down there, the, these uh, seed pods will get brown and they'll just kind of kind of bust open and the seeds will hit on the ground and when we get some rain around thanksgiving or something start having some sweet peas again so even though you don't plant uh, annuals only live one year you, you don't necessarily have to plant them every year if they're really tough sweet peas are a good example i won't have any more sweet peas until thanksgiving i'll see some sprouting and i'll start taking care of them maybe i'll move them around if it's not quite the perfect spot but that kind of uh Volunteering, it's a real uh, time saver, that's for sure.